Good morning and welcome to your Thursday morning, early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, here with some words of wisdom, a little longer version today. So you might want to prepare yourselves for hanging with me for a bit today. Um, happy Thursday. Hope your day's off to a good start. We have a card deck that we haven't seen in quite some time. So I want to do a little prep for us initially and then we'll jump into the card work. So nice deep belly breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, releasing, letting your shoulders drop. Good morning, Carolyn. Welcome. I think you're going to like today's in through the nose, out through the mouth. We'll give us some time. We'll wait for others to jump on here, but we'll just do our nice deep breathing. And as you continue, I want to say that this card is a card that takes time. Oh, it's telling me slow. There we go. All right. Hopefully that's not going to continue. We'll see. Good morning, Cindy. Welcome, welcome. It says slow connection. I'm not sure why. It's early enough in the morning you wouldn't think there'd be anybody on here but us. <laughs> My tribe of practical rebels. So, as we're breathing preparing ourselves for a little longer journey today. Um, gift yourself this. Gift yourself the opportunity of spending the time, taking the time, investing the time in this process. Good morning, Janine. And some of you, if you, if you are time limited this morning, you might want to listen to the process now, but actually do it later. That's fine too. I just think as I was reading through this one that it is a divine opportunity being presented to us. Good morning, Beth. Welcome, welcome. And that we want to give it the time it deserves. It's still telling me slow connection. Hmm. Well, hopefully that will pass. We'll see how this goes. So our card for today comes from Wild Kuan Yin by Alana Fairchild. So let's see how well my internet signal holds out as we're doing our work today. This one actually is quite, quite involved and um, you're gonna wanna be able to lie down. You're gonna want to have an object with you that is meaningful. Of course, I immediately thought of a rock. <laughs> and you're gonna want to um, have pen and paper with you to be able to write. So the card is Harvest Mother Okay, we're having signal problems. That's not so hot. Good morning, Judy. Welcome. Glad you're here. So I'll do my best with this, but we'll see. Let's all send up some... Rub your hands together. Let's send up some energy. We want this signal to be clear this morning because this work that is involved in this card is powerful work. Work to move you forward. Work to help you... Um, step into a higher version of you. So we really want a good signal. So we're asking the universe for a good signal today. Harvest Mother watches over me. And if you look at the card, you can see that the sheep that's there is clearly a mama. And then there's the mother looking over the shoulder of the child. Good morning, Gwen. Glad you are here. Welcome. So get yourselves comfortable. Let's read Harvest Mother Watches Over Me. And I'll work with the signal. If it, if it poops out again, I'll just wait and go back at it. And we'll see if we can get this done in one, one round. Harvest Mother Watches Over Me. I watch over you whilst you gaze within. For the time has come when you are best to gather your energy and direct it to your inner world. We'll see if it poops out here. It just sent me the signal again. Nope, now it just dropped away. All right. So much has been happening around you and within you. So much that it needs time and attention to now be distilled, integrated, and digested. That makes sense, doesn't it? There's been so many changes going on, etc. We need some quiet space and time within to just work our way through that. It will bring you greater peace and a sense of completion to do this now. It is a time to harvest your emotional world to be ready to gain the rich wisdom of your experiences. Then you shall be ready for us to begin again, 
for another chapter in your life journey. Wiser, stronger, ready. Together. There are times on the path when we feel the urge to go within, to withdraw from the world for a time, to claim some space. We may not know why, but if we avoid that impulse, we miss the great benefit that such a process can bring. So even this morning before I jumped on here, I felt the urge to write some stuff down. So I just grabbed my journal and wrote uh, almost a page of things that I wanted to keep track of, not lose, because when those ideas come to us, if we don't commit them right away, oftentimes they're gone and we can't really access them again. They may roll around down the road again, but it's nice to grab them at the time that they come past, right? In this world, we are typically taught that things happen through effort, directed toward external action. Of course, there is a time and place for this. However, there is also a time when the action needs to be internally oriented, and far more about receiving and restoring than about doing, about contemplating and integrating rather than strategizing and initiating. This oracle comes to you at a time when there has been so much happening in your outer world and even in your inner world, so much awakening, so much experience that it needs to be processed, sorted through and released in some sort of useful content. So again, writing is one way. This, this healing process we're going to do is another way. Let's see what we get. If you do not do this, you will feel a sort of uncomfortable fullness with a sense of not being able to move forward in life as freely as you would like. Oh, there's my little slow connection thing. We'll see if it goes away. Let's see. So I'm going to reframe, reframe these little glitches for us. Rather than viewing this as a difficulty, let's view it as an opportunity. When it is a slow connection and the the video fails, use that as a moment to take whatever sentence I just said and process it. Breathe into it. Be with it. Let's use this to work with for us and with us instead of it being a difficulty, all right? Let's see. If a natural process such as this is not allowed, you will be pushing yourself towards overwhelm, fatigue, confusion, and depression. The oracle of Harvest Mother Watches Over Me brings a message that it is safe and timely now for you to declutter your world, especially your internal world, although clearing out something of your physical world may be a way to enhance this process. Actually, this is so serendipitous. Yesterday, I was talking to my virtual assistant, Morgan, and she has created, out of my 10-week um, audio lightening your load clutter clearing class, she has created some little prompts that are going to be posted on this, on my Facebook page, um, one a day, and I'm not sure which day she's starting, might be today or tomorrow, one a day to kind of give you a little glimpse, a little opportunity to do something to clear clutter out of your life, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. So perfect timing that this card showed up right now. I'm, I'm geeking on that. That's pretty cool. So we read that sentence again. Good morning, Angie. Welcome, welcome. I'll show you our card. Harvest Mother watches over me. So reading this, the Oracle of Harvest Mother watches over me brings a message that it is safe and timely to now declutter your world, especially your inner world. Although clearing out something of your physical world may be a way to enhance this process. The Oracle... I love that. That is just a hoot. So, again, whenever this thing pops out, know that, yes, no, it can't be rushed. You're absolutely right. Just be in that flow as best you can, Carolyn. And again, this card is perfect for you. I just knew when you were the first person to pop on, there was a reason you were the first person to pop on today. So let's just roll with it. The oracle guides you that it is not time to be taking in more information or to push yourself to have more experiences, meet new people, or take new risks. This will all happen again soon enough. For now, you already have enough to process within and you need time to do that. Very nourishing, healthy, and life-affirming within you, waiting to be tapped into. But you need to make a choice to do that. 
So we're going to make this choice, right? We're making this choice right now by being on here, the seven of you and me listening to this, right? Now is a good time to do so, but you will need to step back from the day-to-day -day world for a moment at least and create some space to go within. The Oracle of Harvest Mother watches over me also. So oh, there we are again. Yep. So my guess is the last word you heard was indicates. What came after that was a time of great abundance. Oh, it looks like we've dropped some people off. That's okay because the video will be posted and you can watch it from there. Again, I feel like this is such an important piece that we're doing that we want to we want to give it the time that it needs. All right, not rush through it in order to um, say we did it. So indicates a time of great abundance of hidden gifts becoming apparent and being received if you are willing to create some space. If you are willing to create some space. This is not a time to keep going with momentum or pursuing something simply out of habit. There is a rich, growth-fueling, divine substance within your reach. And to receive the nectar of life, you need to change pace. To milk that nectar from the inner world, you need the right type of internally oriented action. This may to be record a segment from a dream or to close your eyes and dance in your lounge room, allowing your body to express itself naturally and without shame. It may require that you express your feelings through art or by writing in your journal. It may require that you spend time in meditation or to relax and do another reading for yourself, asking the oracle, what is my inner self most wanting me to know now? So we can do that, right? You might choose to invite a most loving and deep response to that question by building an altar to your oracle card, enhanced by offerings of flowers and a tea light, as you allow the intuition and healing wisdom of your inner world to show itself to you. Good morning, Cheryl. Welcome to our card for today, which is Harvest Mother Watches Over Me. Again, one of the longer cards. Remember that although the inner world offers extraordinarily powerful healing energy, it cannot be tapped into directly by demanding that it show itself. We need to create a space with love, patience, utter acceptance, and willingness from a place of trust. Does this sound like the Divine Feminine? To hear, feel, and honor anything and everything being expressed. With this sort of work, we may not understand what comes up right away. It could instantly make sense, though, and clarify a matter we have struggled with for years, cutting through and showing us the absolute truth, which, even if painful momentarily, will bring us swift relief and set us free. If our experience is one where we are working with an unfathomable dream image, for example, then we have to be willing to allow this inner medicine to work its healing process, even if we don't understand at a more intellectual level how or why it is presenting itself this way. I have a friend who has been working for several years on the get out of your head and into your heart thing. Every time she gets lost in the I have to figure this out, sheepishly down the road, she comes back to herself and says, no, this isn't something I'm going to logic through. This is something I need to feel into, all right? In stepping back for internal work, we may worry about taking such time out of the world, as though we are stepping off the carousel or roller coaster of life for a time. Will our family and friends feel abandoned? What of the work that we have to do? So many demands exist for our time and energy in the material world that stepping back from them may become an anxiety-inducing dilemma. The Divine Mother comes to you with guidance. Of course she does. She will keep an eye on things for you. She will ensure that all is well for your return. For now it is important that you go within. Step back from the world. It is only for a time. Do not worry that you are turning your back on life. You are not. You are affirming the life within that is ready for your loving care and attention. There is something within that needs to be drawn forth, something that needs to be pulled out of the unconscious and brought to full awareness. A feeling, an intuition or instinct, a piece of guidance, or an understanding. It will be an important discovery. 
no matter how ordinary or minor it may seem at the time. This oracle comes to you to affirm that you have been or you are being initiated into the feminine mysteries of intuition, inner vision, and the world of dreams, signs, and symbols, which has been denigrated for eons, right? This means that your ability to read energy at the non-physical level will be increasing. This happens as we open with curiosity and non-judgment, a willingness to receive messages, to remember dreams, to feel our feelings, and trust our body. The Divine Mother is watching over this process for you, guiding you through the inner worlds that can seem dark and misleading if you try to approach them with the same intelligence you use in the outer worlds. So again, if you're using your divine masculine to try to figure this out, not going to work. This is a divine feminine process. The outer world is in daylight. You can see your way around and it makes sense to operate in a visually driven way. The inner world is in moonlight. And sometimes during a new moon, there is not much of that either. Well, we're approaching full moon, so. You have to learn how to operate in a different way because there is far less light available and you cannot see so clearly. And the moonlight is reflected light. The sunlight is direct light, but the moonlight is reflected light. So think about that. Reflection, going within. In the inner world, the sense of feeling becomes more powerful and instructive. When you trust and follow your feelings, even when you cannot see the whole process before you, you will be journeying through your inner world. So think about that with that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. quote of step forward in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. He was talking about a divinely feminine process. And that certainly is rising up again right now. You will start to see with your inner eye and the eye within the heart that feels the vision. The Divine Mother will watch over you and keep you safe through this process of awakening sight. If you have been querying whether your insight, vision, or psychic ability is opening up, then this oracle brings about confirmation that it is. So here's a note about the healing process. Usually it just moves us into the healing process, but in this case it's giving us a message ahead of time preparatory. Your healing process is the prayer that follows plus whatever method of inner self-expression you may choose for yourself. It is not about creating something perfect. It is about freedom to simply be or move or vocalize or feel whatever it is that seems most authentic to you. And don't worry if you feel like you're kind of wandering through the dark and you don't know. Try some stuff. Be willing to try some stuff. You must give yourself permission to let go of logic or trying to control or direct your practice. This is about creating some space for you to be without the usual restraints upon your behavior. It is about entering sacred space within. You might have been cultivating such a practice for years, or this may be a very new idea for you, and the idea of going within may seem rather foreign. Perhaps you wonder if you are capable of doing this at all. Don't worry, there is no wrong way to do this practice and you will find your preferred methods of working with inner material as you explore your journey. So for some people it's meditation, for some people it's writing, for some people it's breath work. Try some stuff. Feel free to choose whatever method you like. Art, dance, music, poetry, nature walks, meditation, writing in your journal, drawing your dreams, or simply lying down and having a rest. Or if you are uncertain which method to choose, then simply do the prayer and short ritual practice on its own instead. If you do have a preferred method of inner work and want to add the healing process to that practice, feel free to do so. May your journey be blessed by the Divine Mother. So here's the healing process. You will need a sacred object that you can touch easily for this process. That could be a flower or a crystal or an image or a statue that reminds you of love and the sacredness of the divine. It could even be this card deck or a particular card from the deck, like this one. So if you have the deck, this card is number 31. And again, if you feel like, well, now isn't quite a good time for me to do this. I've got to get ready for whatever. Don't worry about it. Just listen for now. I'll record it. 
you can come back and listen to this part of the recording when you do have the time to invest in yourself. Please take that time today. <laughs> Place your object within easy reach. You will need to be able to lie face down during this process and comfortably touch your object with a hand while doing so. So perhaps then on a bed or a lounger or even on the floor may work for you, keeping in mind your physical agility and ability to move comfortably out of that position. If you cannot lie face down for any reason, then either choose to lie on your back or simply adapt this process to being seated. Again, you cannot do it wrong. Also have a pen and paper or your journal ready. Say this prayer aloud. So we'll do call and response. I'll give you space to repeat out loud after me. Divine Mother of Unconditional Love. Quan Yin. Watches over me now as I look within. I love my body. I love my inner world. I love the messages and guidance that it brings. I am open to receive that guidance. And I am grateful for all that is offered to me. Through unconditional love and divine grace, I only receive what is most helpful, healing, and instructive. I trust unconditionally in the divine protection that surrounds me now. I ask for your blessing upon this sacred object. May it become the key through which I access my inner world. By your grace, mercy, and intervention. Through divine grace, so be it. So now place your left or non-dominant hand over the object and lie face down with your other hand palm down upon the ground, bed, or lounge. So you're basically lying face down one hand, your dominant hand face down on the, the wherever you're lying and your non-dominant hand covering your object. If you prefer to lie on your back instead or remain seated, use the same hand gestures, but remain in your chosen position of lying down or sitting comfortably. Close your eyes and relax for at least 10 slow breaths in and out. So let's do that right now. Notice what you feel or sense. Your mind may be busy or you may start to relax. Just be with the process. A lot will be happening here, even if you are not fully aware of it at this time. Whenever you are ready, let go of the object and sit up. Say this prayer aloud. And again, we'll do call and response. I digest, integrate, and absorb the healing medicine of my inner world. This wisdom comes to consciousness according to the grace of the Holy Mother who loves me without condition. May I be nourished into growth through the healing milk of heaven that flows within my being now to 
to where it is most needed. So be it. Good morning, Peggy. Glad you're joining us. Then either sit or relax for however long feels right to you or complete your preferred method of self-expression. So you might want to do this process and then paint or draw or dance or sing or whatever your thing is, okay? Journal. When you are finished, you have completed your healing process. You may like to pay particular attention to your dreams in the nights following the healing process. Keep paper and pencil handy when you do that because they tend to atrophy as soon as you start moving around. If you remember segments of a dream, you might like to repeat this healing process, adding some dream work, such as a drawing or writing about the dream or even acting it out as a form of sacred theater as your self-expression portion of this healing process. You can also repeat this healing at any time when you feel that there is some guidance within that is trying to reach you that you cannot quite grasp. This healing process will allow you to access that information via energetic methods instead. So that is our card for today. Let me show you again. Harvest Mother Watches Over Me. Harvest Mother Watches Over Me. And again, if you um, didn't have the time to really dig into this this morning, please take some time at some point today. I know it was a little longer, but to, to redo this process and really actually do it. And then I'd love to hear from you. What did you get right now? What did you notice? And what did you get when you took the time to do it more deeply? I'd love to know what you find from this. Because again, the universe is offering us this at this point for a reason. It is time to go within and understand and integrate and um, be with and flow. Good morning, Jill. We're just about done, but we had a wild Kuan Yin card that was really awesome. So if you get an opportunity, please go back and watch. Spend the time. Invest the time in yourself to do this process. Good morning, Donine. We are just about done, but I will post this right away and it'll be sent out in the email for those of you who get the emails. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad you have been. Good morning, Sue. Everybody's name is just starting to roll. And I'm not sure how many of you saw much of any of that, but miigwetch to you too, my dear. Um, I appreciate you being here. Appreciate all of you being here. So again, I'm going to say it one more time. Take the time sometime today to go back and watch this and actually do the process. You'll be amazed at what happens. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.